Pneumonia is an infection that causes inflammation in the lungs and results in fluid buildup, fever, cough, and difficulty breathing. It is caused by a variety of different organisms and that is exactly what we are going to discuss in this video. We are not doctors, this video is for informational and entertainment purposes only. So first and foremost, let's talk about the causes. Pneumonia has several different causes including viruses, bacteria, fungi, and even parasites in some cases. The signs and symptoms of pneumonia can vary in severity from patient to patient. With that said, here are some of the most common examples. The patient may have a productive cough, fever and chills, tachypnea, shortness of breath, chest pain, diaphoresis, fatigue, and cyanosis. Keep in mind that other signs and symptoms for pneumonia do exist. These are just some of the most common examples. Now let's talk about the different types of pneumonia. The type of pneumonia is often classified according to how the patient acquired the disease. Here are the different types. You have community acquired pneumonia, hospital acquired pneumonia, ventilator associated pneumonia, and aspiration pneumonia. The name of each type pretty much gives away what it means, but just in case there is any confusion, community acquired pneumonia is when a patient gets it outside of the hospital. Hospital acquired pneumonia is when a patient gets it during a hospital stay. Ventilator associated pneumonia is when it's acquired while the patient is on a mechanical ventilator. And lastly, aspiration pneumonia is acquired when a patient aspirates bacteria into the lungs, usually from food, saliva, or stomach acid. Now let's talk about the diagnosis. Pneumonia is most commonly diagnosed by looking at the patient's chest x-ray, which will show signs of consolidation. Other tests and findings to look for include their vital signs, their ABG results, their PFT results, sputum culture, and you could look at the complete blood count. Moving right along, let's talk about the treatment. Pneumonia should be treated on a case-by-case -case basis, but in general, here are the most common treatment methods. Antibiotic medications, oxygen therapy, bed rest, airway clearance therapy, hyperinflation therapy, and fluid management. Now again, each patient will be treated differently depending on the cause and severity of their symptoms. And in severe cases, intubation and mechanical ventilation would be indicated. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, be sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel. Also, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other resources that I think you will enjoy. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. And if you want to support the channel, be sure to drop a like on this video, and you might as well go ahead and click the subscribe button while you're down there. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. That's it for this one. Have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy, my friend.